I started there working in the parking house. I don't know what age, somewhere about eight or ten, I guess, for ten cents an hour. I was old enough to drive the tractor at about ten or twelve, somewhere in there. And uh, that's when the hard work started. I was basically responsible for uh, hauling the, the fruit from the orchard into the packing house and unloading it and then going back out pick another load. Uh, at 14, this was during the war, um, I was allowed to get my driver's license because there was a shortage of men due to the war. And uh, <clears throat> once I had my driver's license, then my whole life changed considerably for several reasons. Number one was that uh, I had to haul the fruit down to the Queensland dock in the truck to the boat. Uh, the boat left at, I believe, 9.30, so frequently I was uh, up quite early, like six, 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, to drive to Niagara Falls to pick up uh, workers and bring them down to the farm. Uh, we had a fa <coughs> oh, extended family of uh, Italians named Romanos who came and worked on our farm. Um, their cousins, their uncles, their aunts, you name it. Extended family, it was a whole pile of them. Wonderful, wonderful people. In fact, I probably thought they were wonderful, and they were, but they used to call me the big of the boss. Anyway, they... <coughs> They did a lot of work on the farm, but then so did I. Picked them up, had to take them back, of course, to Niagara Falls afterwards, then load up the truck, haul the fruit from the packing house down to the dock and unload it onto the carts they had for the fruit. And uh, then they shipped it off to Toronto on the boat, picked up uh, there by a gentleman named Hans Patch, who was the middleman in selling the fruit taken to the St. Lawrence market where the storekeepers came and bought it and the fruit that we picked one day was in the stores selling the next day. I should, I'm going to be rambling on here in a minute but <clears throat> not only did uh, the, the Romanos gradually graduated from coming to the farm when uh, the YWCA uh, organized a program for young girls to come to the farms and pick, help pick the fruit. Um, they went to the better private schools in Toronto and solicited girls to come over and, and live in camps and work on the farms. Now this presented great problems to me because uh, one of the camps was one block from my house <laughs> with 60 girls my age uh, the camp was uh, at uh, South Landing Inn, and I was. We had a hired man on the farm at the time who wanted nothing to do with these young girls, so I was given the job of looking after them, picking the fruit, and to get them to pick the fruit, which was not the easiest thing to do. But then try and take them out at night after uh, being rather strict during the daytime. Anyway. It worked out fine, and uh, of course, being on the farm, uh, we had lots of gas for the truck. We had a half-ton truck, and uh, with all these girls, and I had wheels, so my teenage years were fantastic.